You guys can see the full MSRP, $172,555 miles per gallon. We get 12 in the city, we get 19 on the highway. That's actually not bad right there. She is officially a used vehicle though, as we pull off that window sticker. Maybe, maybe, oh. It's so cold. It is so cold, thank you. It is so cold here in Pennsylvania. Street Speed 717 is on a boat in the Bahamas right now as we try to pull off this window sticker. Maybe, maybe. Oh my God, look at the carbon fiber wheels with the black lug nuts, all carbon everywhere. Carbon arrow, carbon on the roof even, you can see right there. This sadly is not my car. I even missed Stradman's delivery, which was a huge bummer. Now I was on a cruise actually down in the Bahamas. Oh. I wanted to be here for Stradman's delivery. Even if it wasn't in my hometown, I would love to be there, but I also didn't want to impose. I didn't want to say, hey, uh, when are you gonna be there? I'm showing up, right? Because it's his day, his car. He did invite me to be there, so that meant a lot. And I feel like you guys should know that, that he's a very nice guy on and off camera. But don't forget the raisin. Oh, whoa, bitch. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. It's an everyday thing. When you let your nuts hang. What to do, everyday people, man? It's your boy PJ. Today we back with another lit video. Back in the confessional. And yeah, we staying lit all 2022 man and we back on some bs man we in the boxing ring and we got none other than street speed 717 against the strad man yeah you heard it man street speed and the strad man they is beefing as you can see from the front video they really not beefing but I had to make it seem like they beefing, man. They beefing over the who got the Z06 first. Now, Street Speed was not able to get the Z06, but Stradman was. And Stradman went and threw it in his face. You understand what I'm saying? Said, yeah, big dog, I got it before you. So just now, for that reason, we got to box it out. We got to see who really deserved to get the Z06. So Stradman is putting his Z06 up for this fight, okay? So whoever win this fight gets that hyper yellow, or, or as we, uh, Mr. Organic call it, the vote Inu yellow. <laughs> I can't get that trash. The, uh, that high yellow, uh, hyper yellow Corvette C8 Z06, okay? That shit gonna be nice. And we at the MGM Grand, cause you know, these guys look like they do it big. You know what I'm saying? Especially Strad Man with a million views on his Z06 Corvette uh, the taking delivery. So if y'all wanna see those videos, man, go check them out on the Strad Man channel and on Street Speed, Street Speed 717. Hey, Street Speed, I need a Corvette. I done bought one of these damn uh, things and uh, these, uh, I bought a key ring. I didn't win, but you know, it is what it is. I got the key ring. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get the Corvette though, but it is what it is. I may join again or I may not. I don't care, but it is what it is. Next time you owe me, big dog. Let's get into this fight. We about to get ready to rumble. Man, I ain't even got a drink tonight, so I guess I'm gonna be sober. Sober like a cobra. All right, so we got a size difference, about two inches, about a 30 pound difference, and a reach difference, you know what I'm saying? So Mike 717 Street Speed. Ready? I think his favorite color is powder blue, man. He, he like bright colors, so I put him in a powder blue, he man. Yeah, man, these white boys finna get it on. Battle of the white boy car YouTubers. And Strad, man. Strad, man, is ready. Now, let me tell you, I think he like purple and pink. For whatever reason, this guy like purple and pink, so you see him in the purple and pink trunks, man. And I don't know who they got in their corner. They just got random people, because I don't really... I watch 717 Street Speed, but he always talk about his girlfriend. He don't really talk. He don't really have his friends in the video. So, it's just him. Stradman be with everybody. And he looks like to be the crowd favorite out of Park City, Utah. There you go. There you go. 
Now, he, uh, I want to see the Strad Man got a nice ass house and some nice whips, man. So, shout out to the Strad Man. I think I'm going to go for the Strad Man in this one. He, he, even though he's smaller, I think this will be this is still a good competitive match. And street speed is really coming out after uh the Strad Man. Strad Man is blocking. Look at oh, there you go with the uppercut. That's what I'm talking about. And he got the blocking skills. So yeah, I think even though he's about two inches shorter. Strad man, look at him. He just laying it to him. Laying it to him. Lay, oh, hit him in the jaw. Street Speed ain't got nothing on him. I know Street Speed won. He look like the type that can really fight, but like not really fight. So I gave him a little bit of skills in this one. Strad man, I don't even think he's had a fight ever in his life. He don't look like the type that'll fight. He look like the type that'll get hella mad and get red, but won't fight. And if he do fight you, then pushed him to the damn limit. And he's throwing him. But that's why that's why I'm going for uh, Strad Man. Because Strad Man, if you push him to the limit, he going to fuck you up. Okay? Look, he's blocking. He's not even going after him. But Street Speed is really throwing the punches. Come on, Strad Man. What you wrapping up for? Like... There you go. There you go. I'm telling you, man. Watch, watch a uh, Strad Man whoop him, man. Little bitty dude. And I think I actually gave Strad Man a couple inches. He don't look five ten. He probably about five eight. And I probably gave him a couple extra pounds. I don't know. He don't look that big. He looks like a small guy. Street speed. I think I got him pretty close to who he is. Six foot. You know what I'm saying? One seventy five, one eighty. He look like he work out just enough. To stay skinny. Like he's a cornflakes and uh raisin bran each motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Strad man only eats sushi and fish and stuff like that. He's a pescatarian. You know what I'm saying? That's a big word for y'all. Y'all go look that up. Y'all don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Shout out to the Strad man. And shout out to Street Speed 717, man. I, 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 I'm going to join your rapper one more time for one of them Corvettes. Man, hopefully you get a... Uh, I like that uh the ZL1 that you had. I mean not the ZL1. Oh yeah, I do like the ZL1. That black ZL1. That was the one of the last of the C7. Oh, there you go, Strad man. There you go, Strad man. Hitting them with the jab, keeping them blocks, putting on the clinic. But yeah, if you put if you put that uh that new C8 with the wrap on it, if you put that in the raffle with the white seats, I, I'm gonna go for that. That's the one I want. I like. I thought that was pretty sweet. I don't, you know. It was all right. There you go. Dang. Street Speed is... Get out the way, ref. Street Speed was putting them hands on him. Yeah, that's a Street Speed right there, man. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more on that yeah. last 30, 20 seconds. Yeah. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Okay, listen. You can throw them off with some head movement. That's it. Throw them off with head movements. Head movements. Come on, baby. This is what I'm going for, so y'all better know that when we get that first knockdown, I'm finna go crazy. There you go. There you go. And they in two different weight. I had to put them in two different weight classes because it's, it's just too big of a difference. You, you can see the sizable difference in real life. Like or through the videos. I ain't never seen these fools in real life. I mean, if I did see them, it'll probably be at a Golden Corral. They look like they frequent Golden Corrals. You know what I'm saying? Nothing but Golden Corrals. You might, you might catch them. When they say, let's go get Chinese, they go to Panda Express. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> These dudes, these dudes are, they East Coast coaches, I don't know. I was going to put the fight in Philly, but, nah, not no raggedy gym, man. I got to do my guy, I got to do them better than that. They they better than some Philly shit. But just because I think they on the East Coast, it would have worked out, you know what I'm saying, so whatever. Probably should have put them in New York City. There you go, damn, got to keep them hands up, keep them hands up. 
the beast is a uh, strad man but check this out man i put uh strad man is a reebok asics type of guy and uh you know uh street speed i think he'll stick with everlast like he's the type of guy damn 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 strad man come on man what in the hell jesus christ you got caught with an uppercut that would have ended it all there you go right back at him right back at him Damn, see, like, look at that, man. That was close for both of them. Jesus Christ. Oh, see them uppercuts, man. You can see, that's why I said Strad Man, man. He looked like the type you piss him off. He's he gonna whoop your ass. Man, why my lights blinking? Let me take that light bulb out of there. There you go. There you go. He laying them hooks, baby. Oh, oh, damn, 717 is laying the combinations on. Damn, block, bro. Oh, man, you let him hit you with the jab. Come on, Strad, man. Ten seconds to go in this round. All right, so we are we are two rounds in, baby. Two rounds passed, and uh, we haven't had one knockout. We had two close calls by each fighter. You know what I'm saying? They are swinging for the fences. But I'm going to keep it real, man. I don't think either one of these guys have knockout power. So I think we might be in for a long 12 round fight, but with them being light heavyweights and a uh, middleweight, I think we might get, we might we might get a lucky shot in there. You know what I'm saying? But I think this is gonna go all 12. Y'all gotta be ready though. So this is the battle of the C uh, C8 Z06 Corvette. Who gonna win it? Who gonna win it? And the Strad man said if, if 717 can beat him, he going to give him the, the C8. It ain't nothing but 175000 That's chump change to Strad man. That's chump change. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Whooping his ass. Beat him like he stole something. There you go. Oh, see, man, look at him. Street speed is, he getting tired. There you go. Oh! <laughs> and he put the head up on him. Damn. Wow. Wow. I ain't never seen that. Damn. You ate that whole punch and he knocked you out cold, dog. Damn. I ain't never seen that. First knockdown and he's done. That's cold. That is cold beans right there. Shout out to the Strad man. I told y'all. I told y'all he was gonna win. He ain't finna give up that damn Corvette, big dog. Man, I picked that from the gate, man. That's how we do it over here, everyday people, man. Shout out to Street Speed Seven One Seven. Shout out to uh. Oh, it look like Street Speed. They had Street Speed winning. And does it with one shot that he Damn. Shout out to Street Speed. Shout out to James the Strad, man. That, that was a good little fight, man. I'm going to give it to you. He knocked him out. <laughs> Damn. With one uppercut. I wish I could watch that again, big dog. Like, that was amazing. That was amazing. Like, let me see here. Street Speed hit him 90 times to 59. But uh, let's see how many power punches. Damn, he threw a lot of uppercut. He hit him a lot of times. Like, Street Speed really had him in the numbers. But somebody, even in the power punches, 54 power punches to 28. Like, that's crazy. Let's see what that last round did, man. It just, Street Speed really was whooping him the whole fight. Damn, but shit, Jesus Christ. That uppercut must have connected. 
Anyway, you never know what you're going to get on the Everyday PJ Show fight night, man. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace. <laughs>